we won't let you have your frickin' way. I hope you can entertain me a little bit at least. You should feel honored to be able to face me. All right, I'll play with you for a minute. Come and get it. I'm gonna go all out! Ta Wide open. Eat this! <laughs> I'll slice you in half! You've met your match today! Huh? Take this! Huh? It's over! You're mine! I'll finish this! I won't lose! <laughs> This is where you shall perish! Disappear! It is high time you receive your comeuppance, Purple Heart. No, Neptune. How careless of me. To think the three of you would join forces. Oh, come on! It only makes sense at this point to lower the head count one at a time like this. It'd be a pain if you end up being the last one standing. So we're gonna beat you down first! If only Nepgear were here, I shouldn't have abandoned her. A bit late for regrets now. Get ready to die! Please rest assured, Neptune. We won't torture you. Expect a swift and clean death. Leave the finishing blow for me. I'll never lose. Even against the three of you, I will be victorious. Your life will be taken by my hands! Ready whenever. Nothing can survive against my super dreadnought class strength! Yeah! I am ready. I will have you perish here. Hmm. This is the true strength of Last Station CPU. Combo. That won't work. That won't work. That won't work. I'll end this. Are you ready? It's my turn. Cross combo. Oh. Not yet. Hmm. I'll end this. Nothing can survive against my super dreadnought class strength. Yeah. I am ready. ready. This is the true strength of Last Station CPU. Yeah! 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 Neptune has logged out. Uh... No, this cannot be. Is this? Where I finally die? It can't be. <sighs> no! I lost, you guys! <laughs> One down, two to go. Victory is all but mine. Get real. With Neptune out of the game, none of you stand a chance against me. Come on. It sucks when you all gang up on me just because I'm awesome. You're all cheater belly eaters. What a rude accusation to make. We all inadvertently have the same goal in mind. Times like this should give you a glimpse into who you are as a person and how you act in your daily life. Aww, 
I really wanted to play too. I'm as sorry as a cat, Nep Jr. It's a four-player game, so... You received your comeuppance for barging in when it was your sister's turn. Just a second. I'll win this round real quick. Okay, one more game. If I let you all win every time, it'll make Planet Tune's CPU look like a loser. Round two, fight! Battle is not initiating. What is this buggy scream? Only Purple Heart is showing up. None of ours are even loading. Neptune, did you break the game? I did nothing of the sort. I selected my titular character and pushed the start button like always. Then it's a freeze bug, no? I have this game myself, but I've never had this happen to me. And the place it loaded your character into. It looks like a dungeon, doesn't it? Now that you mention it, it does. Why would there be data for a dungeon in a fighting game? Perhaps the developers reused an old engine and the assets were left in. Or an update file was installed? Neptune, can you control your character at all? I've been mashing all the buttons the whole time you've been talking, but uh, she's stuck. I see. As a gamer, I would love to explore this restricted area. But at this rate... Oh, if that's all it is, then I have the perfect gizmo to help. Hmm, ta-da! My special head-mounted super full-dive immersive controller. I call it the Nebulous Drift. A controller you wear on your head? It looks like any other VR headset. What's different about this one? Could this be the device that we have all dreamed of? Does it allow you to dive into a game by wearing it? Yes. Certain game industry journalists recommended a young adult novel about online game worlds to me. I had to try. And since the controller doesn't have its own software, I made a universal dongle to let it work with any device. Um, long story short, we can use it to intervene in the game, whether it's bugged or frozen or anything, really. Neptune, since when has your sister been this much of a machine-loving and tinkerer character? Neptune's machine fetish was innocent enough that it didn't get in the way of her cuteness. How'd it end up this way? Wait! Is it because of the new route they added into Rebirth 2 where she and Uni worked on a machine together? Is this entire subplot based on that one route where her tinkering really took off? Don't ask me! And leave my sister out of this! Nepgear, may I please use that device to dive into this game? Um, well, I just finished development on it this morning. It's untested, so I don't think anyone can use it. I see. In that case, Whoa! Lights out! What's happening? What the goodness, bird! I just said it hadn't been tested yet! What are you doing? As Purple Heart is shown on screen, I believe Neptune standing as the protagonist will keep her safe. The logic of a gamer. Don't blame me if something happens. Let me see. Is this the headset start button? And push! Hey, hey! What sort of situational comedy situation have you situated me? But, uh, this could be a cool thing to experience. <laughs> so this is what it's like to be inside a game, huh? Dive success! Oh, thank goodness. Still, what a ridiculous scenario. She looks like her HDD form, but her personality and voice is Neptune. Oh, you're right! Wow! Is this my body after transforming? <laughs> I never noticed. Yippee skippy! This is totally a new experience for me! Whee! This is too weird. Neptune, can you just act like your HDD self for me? I don't know if I can or not, but I'll give it a try try, passerby. How does this sound? I figured there was nothing to lose by asking, but I never thought you'd manage to pull it off. Okay, this feels more natural. Neptune, can you move around? As you can see, my movement is not restricted in the slightest. Neptunior, I am impressed. This feels real. Oh, golly! My big sister praised me! <laughs> Yay! However, remaining in this form and using this personality is quite tiresome. Oh, snappy snap. It's way more comfy to laze about in this bod. What? You changed back somehow! Of course she did. 
This fighting game has an HDD transformation system as one of its mechanics. Anything is possible in games. Well, now that I'm back to my usual carefree self, let's start this investigation free of cares. Either that or it's a different game's dungeon assets mixed in. Do you think? Something's buggering me, though. Be careful, Neptune! Something's coming your way! My way? But there can't be anything here other than my fine self. <gasps> it's a succulent beast! What is this thing? Was this ever in one of our games? No. No such monster exists in the Neptunia franchise in a regular existence. Either it's a bug or some kind of virus in the game's code. A virus? I suppose it's possible. Maybe the area Neptune's exploring was made by that same virus then. It is a tad hasty to jump to that conclusion. But the enemy is intent on fighting. So shall it be. <laughs> Hang on! We don't even know what this thing is! Can I even beat it? You're in a game! It'll be fine! Why are you acting so casual and vague now of all time? If I lose, I might seriously die! Die in the game? Die in real life? That kind of horror premise exists! Oh, oh! Maybe if you fight it, I can extract some really neato combat data from the game's code! Perfect! Are you gabbing gals even listening? Are you lippy ladies ignoring me? Can't you flippin' females hear me? Okie dokie. I've connected my end gear to the headset. I should be able to extract the enemy's data now. You heard the plan, Neptune. Get fighting. Ah, fine. I'm gonna use my attack spamming suicide strategy. Can it always be my turn? Yeah, chest buster! It's all over. Why can it always be my turn? Hey! Yeah! I'm fine. Finally! It's all over. Yeah! Hey! Here you go! It's one pajillion times infinity years to. Oh, that was easy. 
easier than eating. <laughs> it's worth it to try stuff out. Did you get your data, Nip Junior? Yes! It went perfect thanks to you! Hmm. So this is the data structure they used? What the goodness? What is the matter, Nep Gear? Is the data corrupt? No, no. The data is perfectly fine. And I've analyzed it without issue. But, um... Well, this is... Gah, annoying! Just spit it out already! Your opponent is a sentient virus. Huh? huh? When you say virus, you speak of the computer kind and not an illness, yes? Right. I don't know why it exists, but I'm positive it's behind the reason why our game got messed up. The virus seems to have built this dungeon area via a network connection. I read something similar to this in a book years ago. Crazy cakes! You're telling me that it's the virus's fault that my sweet battling CPU's game got all buggy? Spect? No. But this. Neptune seems legitimately angry for once. Well, duh. I scrimped and saved my measly allowance for many moons to buy the game and console. So this sucks. Your allowance? If Neptune has uncontrolled access to money, she buys every game she sees. So Isty put her on an allowance. Planetune CPUs are so weird. Okay, it's settled. I'm gonna do the quarantine thing and delete them all. Any more baddies around, Neptunior? I'm scanning the data, and I'm seeing a lot in the vicinity. But, I mean a lot. This might be tough, even for you. Numbers aren't important to me. A CPU won't bend or break against some dinky dingus of a virus. If she had this drive all the time, Eastwar probably wouldn't get so many stomach ulcers from the stress. Wait! My end gear is reacting! What is it this time? One super strong reaction came through the far end of the dungeon area. Maybe it's the root of the virus! Nicely analyzed, my tech-savvy tinkerer of a sister. I'm gonna vent all my rage onto them for breaking my game! image. Here you go! It's all over! Here you go! Victory! They're coming from above! Huh! Third time for that joke, huh? Gonna beat you up! Who's there? Ask, and thou shall receive it. Uh, 
I am the guardian CPU of Planetune, known as Neptune. Prepare thyself. <laughs> You're the mean bean machine that screwed up my beloved game. Forgiveness is all sold out today. Why is a CPU in this place? We're inside of a game right now. <laughs> when you leave something to a girl like me, who makes the impossible possible, doing this was a cinch. Pretty sure Nepgear was the one who made the impossible possible. What a blunder on my part. To think I allowed a CPU to get inside of a game like this. Ugh, even if my foe is a CPU, you are alone. Servants, gather. Kill her by overwhelming her. <laughs> Just as expected from a virus. Attacking me with numbers, huh? Goodness, what should we do? Neptune, will you be okay? Yeah, no matter how many there are, they're junk compared to a CPU. I'm gonna reformat their hard drives. Come at me. Let's see what you can do. It's my turn. Don't get in our way. So weak. Is that all? Eat bit next. I can't. Yeah, next. There, I've got you. An obvious result. Weak. Such bit players have no hope of defeating me, no matter their numbers. Then I'll just summon even more. Go, go, servant monsters! How foolish, facing me. Eat this. So weak. Is that all? I'll finish this in one go. Say. There. Is that all? I can't. Is that all? I can't. There. I've got next. I can't. Is that all? Critical edge. Next. I can't. I can't disappear. I've got you. Disappear. There. Ready anytime. Yeah. An obvious result. Your servants are no more. All that remains is you. Prepare yourself. <laughs> this is why it's a waste of time to program fodder enemies. But if it's come to this, then I'll spawn my trump card. I sacrifice my super rare ticket to summon my pre-order exclusive DLC item. B what are you trying to do? Heed my call, super rare monster. <laughs> You summoned another new monster? I'm incredibly lucky to have drawn a Bahamut type. It's the strongest of all super rare summons. Go and kill that nasty CPU. Your life will be taken by my hands. I'll get victory on this one blow. Is that all? I'm getting fired up. I can't say eat this. Ouch. Cross combo. It's my turn. Critical edge. That doesn't hurt. I've got you. I fight for a reason. How can this be? My super rare stuff. How could you beat it so easily? You are all that remains, Virus. Take this. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. Ow! Phew. It's all over. I'm not picking up any more viruses. Your objective has been met, Neptune! Then I shall dive out of this game. So tired. But hey, now there aren't any more pesky viruses.
choices in my game. Come on, let the playing recommence. Um, actually, Neptune. What's up, my darling sister? Um, it's really hard for me to tell you this, but... The game is no longer playable. What? What a shame, but it's the truth. Nepgear looked into it, but most of the character data has been erased. What? That's so not cool. I beat up the virus, right? You may have, but that will not fix that which has been destroyed. Ugh, this is beyond the beyond of lameness. Come on, cheer up. At least it was only the game that broke. Yeah, I should count my blessings that my save data and console are safe and sound. So let's change into our brighter moods and keep on playing. How about a racing game next? I just happened to bring a fun little big one. I'd recommend a party game. That plumber just released a new edition of his party game series. Perhaps we could tackle an online game together. Oh, I'll go and bring some more snacks and a pot of yummy tea. Pardon me, everyone. Nice timing, Isti. We're out of those dry crackery things. Can you go get more? I'd rather have something sweet. Why don't we eat the special Lestation cookies I brought? Not a bad idea. But if cookies are on the menu, I would prefer a pot of black tea over green. Whoops! I'll go make a new pot then. Oh. Hey, quit loafing, Isti. Our mouths demand sugary treats. Oh, wait, it's rematch time. Hey, don't start the match without letting us know. I'm taking a break. I pity your lack of stamina. I am prepared for another 10 hours of gaming at least. <sighs> All of you, the time has come to knock it off. Why the batitude, Isti? Heavens, my heart nearly leapt right out of my chest. Silence! I must raise my voice. Day after day, you four meet up only to play games. You are CPUs. How is it proper for the CPUs meant to rule the world, to play and lollygag their lives away? Huh? Isti, are you angry? Like, for real seeds? Now, now, Eastwar. Please, calm down. I will do no such thing. Nepgear, you are party to this as well. You jump at the chance to offer snacks and tea. You spoil them so much that they do not work. I... I'm so sorry. <sighs> it is painfully clear that Neptune is a lost cause. But you are smart and serious. So why? Well, I mean, um, during the last big battle, everyone had it rough, so I thought I'd be really nice. Darn tootin'. I mean, even CPUs need to take staycation for a bit. Working us any harder has got to be against some kind of goddess labor law standards thing. How many years do you think have passed since that battle? Enough! You two, sit down right now. Today is the day I will pound into your thick skulls exactly what it means to be a CPU. What? Brain check, please. And why just us? What about them? Pardon us, Neptune. I believe we shall be taking our leave now. You better not give these Dwar any more trouble, you hear me? The wisest one is she who avoids da- Aw, oh, man. They're quicker to run away than I run toward the fridge. So lame. Don't abandon me. Silence! Your task now is to listen intently to my lecture. The primary duty of any CPU is... Uh, um... Well, nice to meet you. Or maybe it's more like, it's been a while, everyone. Eastwar's lecture will last for quite some time. So allow me to use this chance to introduce us. First, I'm Neptune's... No, no. I'm a big girl now, so... I'm Nepgear, the CPU candidate of Planetune. And Neptune's little sister. She's Planetune's CPU. All of the CPU's younger sisters have the title of CPU candidate. Let me tell you about them. Oops. Actually, I'll introduce them a bit later. Oh. But the three CPUs who were just playing with my sister are the leaders of the other nations. Noirs from Last Station, Verts from Leanbox, and Blondes from Louis. They argue and tease one another a lot, but they're actually good friends. Um, I think. We're currently getting lectured by Eastwar. My sister calls her Isti. She's Planetune's Oracle and acts as our Basilicom's boss. She helps us handle our workload. Supposedly, she's neither human nor a CPU. But an artificial super being that's the world's every... I'll stop myself there. Sorry. I don't really know all the details. Uh, so... The current game industry is really peaceful. 
Which is why the four CPUs are always playing around before this piece. The deity of Sin almost destroyed our world when she was resurrected. Neptune and our CPU allies fought really hard for the sake of our future. All I'm trying to say is that my sister and the other CPUs can get things done when they have to. Maybe. Oops, the lecture's almost over. Sorry to cut off my introductory narrative, but I'll finish later. Is how all CPUs should be. Let us end today's lesson here. She... she's finally done. Gah. My legs are sawing tingly logs. Can anyone spare me some parallaxin? Well, wait, Neptune! I can't seem to stand up either. And just how long do you two intend to crawl around on the floor like infants? But we just said that our legs are asleep. Misty, you talk more than a phone. Look at my cute thighs are quivering like jelly or whatever. Did you learn nothing from my lecture about how a CPU ought to behave and speak? Yeah. Then I assume you have both taken a hard look at yourselves and now understand its importance, yes? Uh, if a CPU has to be honest, I gotta admit that less than half even entered my ear hall. Shh! Neptune, don't admit to that! If you understand, then get out there and do your jobs this instant, ladies! <laughs> She would blow us out of there with her voice. She was seriously serious, huh? Yes. If we don't get some real work done today, she might grow even more upset. <laughs> I guess we gotta. I'd rather nap, but let's hoof it and beat stuff up for a bit. You'd rather nap? Really? <laughs> <laughs>